Welcome to Nursing Mantra Academy. Nursing Mantra study materials includes previously asked DHA, MOH, HAD, Saudi, and all other prometric exam questions and answers for nurses. Which is not a cause of postural hypotension? Options A. The time of day. B. Lack of exercise. C. Temperature. D. Recent food intake. Answer B. Lack of exercise. Question Which is not an expected side effect of lumbar tap? Once again I repeat the question. Which is not an expected side effect of lumbar tap? Options A. Headache B. Back pain C. Swelling and bruising D. Nausea and vomiting Once again I repeat the option. A. Headache B. Back pain C. Swelling and bruising D. Nausea and vomiting Answer D. Nausea and vomiting If you did subscribe Nursing Mantra YouTube channel until now, please subscribe now and enable the bell icon to get updated videos and notification. Question A client was diagnosed to have infection. What is not a sign or symptom of infection? Once again I repeat the question. A client was diagnosed to have infection. What is not a sign or symptom of infection? Options A. A temperature of more than 38 degrees Celsius. B. Warm skin. C. Chills and sweats. D. Aching muscles. Once again I repeat the option. A. A temperature of more than 38 degrees Celsius. B. Warm skin. C. Chills and sweats. D. Aching muscles. Answer. C. Chills and sweats. Question. You noticed that a colleague committed a medication administration error. Which should be done in this situation? You noticed that a colleague committed a medication administration error. Which should be done in this situation? Options A. You should provide a written statement and also complete a trust incident form. B. You should inform the doctor. C. You should report this immediately to the nurse in charge. D. You should inform the patient. A. You should provide a written statement and also complete a trust incident form. B. You should inform the doctor. C. You should report this immediately to the nurse in charge. D. You should inform the patient. Answer. C. You should report this immediately to the nurse in charge. Question. A patient on your ward complains that her heart is racing and you find that the pulse is too fast to the manually palpate, what would your actions be? Again, a patient on your ward complains that her heart is racing and you find that the pulse is too fast to the manually palpate, what would your actions be? Options A. Shout for help and run to collect the crash trolley. B. Patient to calm down and check her most recent set of bloods and fluid balance. C. A full set of observations, blood pressure, respiratory rate, oxygen saturation, and temperature. It is essential to perform a 12-lead ECG. The patient should then be reviewed by the doctor. D. Check baseline observations and refer to the cardiology team. Again, 
A. Shout for help and run to collect the crash trolley. B. Patient to calm down and check her most recent set of bloods and fluid balance. C. A full set of observations, blood pressure, respiratory rate, oxygen saturation, and temperature. It is essential to perform a 12-lead ECG. The patient should then be reviewed by the doctor. D. Check baseline observations and refer to the cardiology team. Answer. C. A full set of observations. Blood pressure, respiratory rate, oxygen saturation, and temperature. It is essential to perform a 12-lead ECG. The patient should then be reviewed by the doctor. Question. You are looking after a post-operative patient, and when carrying out their observations, you discover that they are tachycardia and anxious with an increased respiratory rate. What could be happening? What would you do? You are looking after a post-operative patient, and when carrying out their observations, you discover that they are tachycardia and anxious with an increased respiratory rate. What could be happening? What would you do? Answer. A. The patient is showing symptoms of hypervolemic shock. Investigate source of fluid loss, administer fluid replacement, and get medical support. Question. When do you see problems? Or potential problems? Options. A. Assessment. B. Planning. C. Implementation. D. Evaluation. Answer. A. Assessment. Question. A COPD patient is about to be discharged from the hospital. What is the best health teaching to provide this patient? I repeat again. A COPD patient is about to be discharged from the hospital. What is the best health teaching to provide this patient? Options. A Increase fluid intake. B. Do not use home oxygen. C. Quit smoking. D. Nebulize as needed. I repeat again. A. Increase fluid intake. B. Do not use home oxygen. C. Quit smoking. D. Nebulize as needed. Answer. Quit smoking. Question. A patient is to be subjected for surgery but the patient's BMI is low. Where will you refer the patient? I repeat again. A patient is to be subjected for surgery but the patient's BMI is low. Where will you refer the patient? Options. A. Speech and language therapist. B. Dietitian. C. Chef. D. Family member. I repeat again. A. Speech and language therapist. B. Dietitian. C. Chef. D. Family member. Answer. B. Dietitian. Question. All of the staff nurses on duty noticed that a newly hired staff nurse has been selective of her tasks. All of them thought that she has a limited knowledge of the procedures. What should the manager do in this situation? I repeat again, all of the staff nurses on duty noticed that a newly hired staff nurse has been selective of her tasks. All of them thought that she has a limited knowledge of the procedures. What should the manager do in this situation? Answer, call the new nurse and talk to her privately. 
Ask how the manager can be of help to improve her situation. Question. A nurse documented on the wrong chart. What should the nurse do? I repeat again. A nurse documented on the wrong chart. What should the nurse do? Options A. Immediately inform the nurse in charge and tell her to cross it all off. B. Throw away the page. C. Write line above the writing. Put your name, job title, date, and time. D. Ignore the incident. Again. A. Immediately inform the nurse in charge and tell her to cross it all off. B. Throw away the page. C. Write line above the writing. Put your name, job title, date, and time. D. Ignore the incident. Answer. C. Write line above the writing. Put your name, job title, date, and time. Question. You have a DM patient who is non-insulin dependent. How many portions of fruits and vegetables will you administer per day? I repeat again. You have a DM patient who is non-insulin dependent. How many portions of fruits and vegetables will you administer per day? Op options A. 3 portions. B. 4 portions. C. 5 portions. D. 6 portions. Again. A. 3 portions. B. 4 portions. C. 5 portions. D. 6 portions. Answer. C. 5 portions. Nursing Mantra Review Materials is available 3500 pages. Soft copy only available due to continuous updation of questions. It includes prometric questions from different authorities examination. Given in separate title. DHA, MOH, Hard, and other prometric exam questions. Picture book. Prometric software link to practice mock test. If you wish to know more details about nursing mantra study materials, feel free to contact me in WhatsApp. Check the description for WhatsApp link. If you did subscribe nursing mantra YouTube channel until now, please subscribe now and enable the bell icon to get updated videos and notification.